Hi, this is Kenton Sanders from the Artist Suitcase at artistsuitcase.com. I want to take a few minutes to show you how to use the Evernote Web Clipper browser extension for Evernote. It's a very handy tool for clipping material from web pages for writing, for blogging. You can clip recipes or whatever you can find on a web page, and you can store that and sync it into your Evernote notebooks. So the first thing that you want to do is go to evernote.com slash web clipper, and you'll want to install this extension for your internet browser, whatever browser that you use. It's all free, so you don't need to pay anything. However, I would highly recommend that you upgrade to the Evernote Premium account rather than the free account. There's a lot of things that you get with the Premium account that you don't with the free account. One of the things is you get more space and you get more features as well with these web extent, uh, browser extensions and some other apps as well. So it's only five bucks a month or 45 bucks a year, so highly, highly worth it. I really recommend that. So once you've got this installed, go to the elephant icon on your browser toolbar going to click that and I'm going to demonstrate all the different things that it does here on uh, my website. So you've got three sections here. You've got the clip section, the markup section, and the file section, and then a couple of buttons down here and I'll show you what these all do. You can clip just the article. That's going to clip obviously just the main article from the web page. You can clip a simplified article which brings up the same view that you're going to see in Evernote clearly. So there's nothing on the sidebar anything like that. You can clip the full page which includes everything on the web page. You can clip just a bookmark which is going to be a picture if there's one there, the title and a snippet of the web page. Or you can do a screenshot. As you can see it just took a picture of that. Now something cool that you can do is in the markup section you've got several things here that um, allow you to mark up the web page as you wish. First of all, you've got a highlighter. So you can highlight text. Like that. Obviously, that's really sloppy, but you can do that. You can use a marker tool, highlight things, and you can pick what color that you want. Let's say if you want to use red here. Maybe for grading papers, you can use red. That's wrong. You can do better. That's more pinkish, I guess. So I probably wouldn't use pink, but it's there if you want to use it. There's the text tool where you can type a comment. Here is a comment. Again, you can change the colors of all this. You can change it to, uh, let's say, blue if you wanted to. Blue text. And once you type that in, you can move that around to wherever you want, which is pretty handy. Here you have these different uh, shapes that you can include here, let's click the arrow so you can draw arrows to different things, which is pretty handy. Or you can, you know, do a circle or a box, whatever you want. Maybe you could move this arrow, point it to somewhere different. Here you have some little flags, or I guess it's called a stamp tool, that you can put different places. And you could mark this, or you could use one of these other ones. Like, uh, I don't understand what you're talking about here. Then you've got a zoom in tool, or zoom out. You have a pixelator tool that you can use to block out sensitive information. Let's say if you had a credit card number, or someone's name there, or whatever that you wanted to pixelate out. You just, oops, sorry. You're going to drag that over the text that you want to pixelate out. And then this final thing, this cropping tool, this is going to crop part of the web page for a screenshot. So once you're finished cropping what you want, you just hit enter and it's going to crop that. Okay, so once you get finished marking it up or doing whatever you like to it, clipping whatever version of that web page you want to clip and putting in your markings, highlights, whatever you want to do with it. Then you've got the file section here. You can file it under whatever notebook you wish. And then you can add a tag if you want to, and you can add a comment if you'd like. Now, ironically, these two things, the podcast, or I'm sorry, the, the notebook and the add tag, this um, option here, it brings up the exact same thing. I don't know why they put both of those there. Probably just to remind you, you can add a tag or a comment or whatever. Down here, you can 
share this note in a variety of different ways. It's going to save this first of all. And you have a URL that you can share. So if I copy that and I bring up a new window in my browser, I paste that. It's going to bring up this exact note that I just clipped, as you can see. This is also going to obviously be stored in my Evernote notebooks where I told it to. In this case, podcast. That's just a random one I brought up there just to illustrate it. You can also clip this note in. You can send it to Facebook, Twitter, LinkedIn, or you can email it if you like. And then when you click update, it's going to update whatever you did with this with this web clipping. If you change something, uh, whatever you did with it, it's going to update it in your Evernote notebook. Then down here, if you click, this is obviously my name. If you bring, if you click this, it brings up this uh, little box here, and you can. It has a web clipper tutorial there that everyone has. That's a handy. It brings up some options as well. You have lots of options of how you want to set up your web clipper. Uh, you can. It has a notebook selection. You can use smart filing or your last used notebook. Um, got some other options here that you can read through that are very helpful. Gives you several keyboard shortcuts that are very handy if you use the web clipper a lot. And then there's some legal legal stuff you can read through. Probably nobody will read through that, but hey, it's there if you uh, are into that kind of stuff. So that is uh, a basic demonstration of the web clipper. Hopefully this has been helpful to you. I use this all the time. It's an incredible tool. And again, it's free, so why not use it? If you do research or blogging, podcasting, or if you're just trying to gather content for preaching, teaching, whatever you need to gather content for. So I encourage you to use it. It's a really great tool. Thanks for watching. Appreciate it.